Today, we're going to tell you all of our secrets of how economic developers can get better footage on your own. That's without us, by yourself, with somebody else, somebody local. We don't care who it is, but this is going to teach you those steps that we take and thought processes we go through to get the best footage for economic developers. Yeah, you don't have to be a pro to get this footage, but you need to know a few crucial things. Yeah, for example, when you are filming workforce in a, in a company, you want to get three different types of shots. They call them wide, medium, and tight. What this is gonna do, number one, it's gonna give you options to be able to suck and still look good, but you can tell your story in a different way, number two. And by getting this wide, medium, and then tight shot, you're gonna be able to choose which shots are best for your story. I know we did this a lot when we were working with Jason Griner at Wiley. We were filming their workforce, and when we were filming them, we wanted to get some different kind of shots so we can show at one angle, and then going a little closer, and then a super tight angle, just to really show what these people are doing with their hands. Speaking of wide, you always wanna get some super wide shots when you're filming inside of companies. Yeah, because when you're in a warehouse, you wanna be able to show off everything that they're doing in there. Okay, and it might not be busy as bees in there, but you're gonna show off some quick shots of the overall facility. They might have some big cranes or some other machinery. Keep in mind, when you're getting those super wide shots, you only wanna show what you want people to see. That's an amazing point because I don't know how many places we've been inside before and there's a whole section we don't want people to see and, and the employer doesn't want people to see that. So make sure that your filmmaker, when you're sitting with them, because you need to be with your filmmaker, write that down, be with filmmaker. You need to be watching what they're filming because you wanna show it off in its best way possible when you're getting those super wide shots because they could also be scary showing too much when you're filming outside with a drone it's very similar but different you still want that wide medium tight super wide shot but you got to keep in mind those super wide shots can also reveal a lot a lot of times behind warehouses there's some ugly stuff the super wide shots are really good for if you have a developed area developed business park where you have other companies and you want to show off this lay of land or maybe some available land where you can highlight that hey this is available but we got other businesses around here you have to get those tight shots to show off your buildings if you have sexy buildings if your building's not too sexy stay a little bit farther away and you're gonna make it look real nice. A few tips with drone filming that I want to give you that everybody does wrong. It's just try to avoid showing too much of the ugliness. And how you can do that and actually make this cinematic is stay lower, stay closer. Most of the drone shots we see are way up high. And those are really great when you want to show the lay of the land or if you want to put in a site plan or make buildings grow up from the ground. Those are awesome. You got to get high for those. If you're not doing that, lower is better. Now these are just a few tips that we can give you about filmmaking. If you like these types of videos, make sure you comment below and let us know and share it with all your friends. If you want us to come into your community and make economic development videos, because that's the only type of videos that we make, make sure you click the link in the description to get some time on our calendar. Neon Cloud.